All right. <clears throat> First off, I'm going to start off by saying all praises be to Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai by Sham Rakakadash. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone and salutes to all you brothers teaching the word in, 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 in sincerity. <clears throat> trying to get that word out. And in truth, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this lesson yet. Um, but it's kind of centered around three different topics, which um, usually I do, I'd, I'd get um, scriptures for this kind of a topic. But um, what I'm going to build on, the spirit is making me build on right here, is to gain in the spirit, you got to um, sacrifice in the flesh. Now, I'm going to um, build, get some scriptures around that. But like I said, I haven't got a list. So what I'm going to do is uh, meditate on a few things and just go in, go in the spirit, man. Let's see if I, let's see how long I can, how how I can, if you know, let's see, let's flow in the spirit and go get somewhere with this, because um, we are uh, as we're men, but we we we're guided by the whole this Holy Spirit, man. Matter of fact, the Bible says that the scriptures was written by men that were guided by the Spirit. Let's see if I can find that. It's in the Psalms. Now, like I said, I haven't written nothing down. I usually would do a, a write something down for a kind of lesson like this. But for the first time, I said, you know what? Let me try one of the, my, 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 one of these type of lessons. Um, without doing that now, there's a scripture here actually that that is on the point of the lesson, which I'm gonna read, and I'm gonna try to remember that to bring it out later. But this is now, like I said, um, there's the Holy Spirit. The pe the men that teach the Bible are guided by the Holy Spirit. You know, you can be guided by the spirit of Satan. You know, um, which most people out here are guided by the spirit of Satan. They're not the most I ain't dealing with him. So us being in this truth, you know, we, we basically, you know, pray to the names and pray that the Lord keeps us on the path, which is actually part of the Lord's prayer, which I'll get. All right. Let me read this and let's build upon that as well. This is Psalms 34 and 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Let's look. Let's look, let's look that up. So the Lord, the Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Right? Now, a lot of the brothers, you know, another what's another scripture? The Lord said that because the Lord was seen was, was seen with unsavory characters at times, if you will, people that, you know, people be like, oh, you know, you know, because, you know, when you come in the truth, you know, people want to start glowing straight away. You know, they want to fly, but they don't want to go through nothing, man. That's not how this truth goes. Now, um, Yahweh Shah was seen with the publicans and, this, and, and the sinners. And he said, them that be whole, you know, need not fit. Now, you know, let me get that. Let me see if I can get that. Like I said, I would have written all, all these down, but I'm trying to go in the spirit and see if I can remember it. It says, um, so the Lord is nigh to them that have a broken heart and save if such as be of a contrite spirit, right? The Lord, which you got to do it there, Yahweh, the ancient name. Right, and you got the word there, Lab. <clears throat> which I think um goes into your mind. <clears throat> right. Inner man, mind, will, heart, understanding. Inner part. Mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory. So, you know, a lot of us, we need healing. We have a broken mind. We need healing. You know, 
and that's why a lot of the times, you know, the men of the law, they, you know, they go through stuff and they go through stuff that pe average people in the world can't see because they're not in the truth. You ain't got that, you, you know, you're not going for the same struggles. There's things you can't see. Okay. For example, I'll give you an example. Let's say, like, let's say, like, you got the movie They Live, right? And you were the dude that had the glasses and he could see you every time he went around, he could actually see that the people were agents or he could see the demons on the people. Like, imagine when he, like, when he didn't have the glasses and he couldn't see that. So having those, having the spiritual glasses on, so to speak, you know, it makes you, it makes you see things. It makes you feel things that normal people don't see and feel, man. You know, like we avoid certain stuff, avoid certain foods, we avoid certain p people because they got demons on them. It says, The Lord is nigh to them that of a broken heart and such as be of a contrite spirit. Okay, let's look up that word. This is crushed. Okay. It says intensive from the root word. I'm very, very, very much crushed, broken, very small. Okay. So, um, you know, the Lord is raising up um us that are on the bottom. And that's how actually the Lord's going to show his power. You know, let me get you another scripture on that because the scripture says the Lord uses the foolish things. Before I get that, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. So we're going to need deliverance. And um, we're going to need deliverance from the Lord from all of the things that we're, that we're going through. So you actually, you know, to be saved, you have to, be, you have to be going through something. So you can't look at, you know, these Israelite groups that are acting like they got it all together. You know, that that's a, a facade, man. That's that's rubbish. And to and to try and be living like King Solomon in the flesh. You know, you know, on this side, that that's foolishness. You know, you'd rather be living like Yahweh Shai, okay. Because um, what did you have a shot? What did what did he say? All is vanity, man. Um, and the scripture says that the whole to keep the commandments. You know that's actually um, the duty of man, and that's what it. Um, it, you know, let me get that. That's what um it says in in the book. So. And that's the whole conclusion. She might say, well, you know, you want to be your kings in the building, this and that. The Lord gave King Solomon everything, but, you know, he was still in the flesh, so he went off. So, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to, we, 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 first of all, we're going to give this flesh up, because this flesh is subject to sin. You know, this flesh is subject to absolute sin, man. So it's the, the programming of this flesh that we're in, is 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 off? So at the end of the day, the programming that we're trying to get and receive is the programming of, of the new the new bodies, man. Is of is of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Did not the disciples ask? Um, did not the disciples actually mention? about the redemption of their bodies. Yes, they did. Why would they do that? Why Why would that be in the scriptures? And I get that next, all right? It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And we had, we just had something going on where people were saying, "Can you, you're going to be saved by the law, you know, and all this. So, you know, we made a lot of videos on it. 
apostles made videos on it. Now, actually, the Bible says if you break one, you break all. Okay, so unless you're perfect out here, a lot of you niggas are breaking laws, man. And you're acting like you, you're righteous. You know, but if y'all, you know, your heart was shy. When you was on the scene, yes, you read people's minds. You could tell your sins. You, you did all of that. Okay. You had them, uh, those abilities. Okay, so you got to be honest, man. You got to be honest with yourself. And you got to um, serve the Lord, like the Bible says, without fear and trembling. So even here it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And like we said, about fearing the Most High, man. You know, fearing the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, is, is, is important because the Lord can actually destroy you if he wants, man. Because, you you know, all are falling short. Now, you see, like I said, I would the scriptures making me think of these scriptures. Some of them, I'm obviously not going to get because, you know, I've just mentioned them. Some of them I might remember, I might get. Um, but I've, I've mentioned them. So, you know, the thoughts there. But one scripture I do want to get is where the Lord said that he can get these stones and make sons of Abraham. Let's see if, if it comes up. It's going to be a harder one to find unless I put in more words. No, oh, here it is right here. Luke 3 and 8. Oh, right, let's read. Let's read from the top. All right, Luke 3 and 1. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontus... Pilate, being governor of Judea and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, um, tetrarch of Iturea, Ture if I'm saying it right, and of the region of Tra. Oh, let me get this for the screen. Um, Trach, Canotis, Can Canitis. Trachonitis and Lysanias, the the tetrarch of um, Ibeline, if I'm saying it right, you know, Salak, if I ain't. Ananias and Sapphira, being the high priest, the word of the Most High came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came unto all the, the country about Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the remissions of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Another thing, you know, John the Baptist was a special spirit, you know. He was prepared the way, like the prophecy said, for the, for the truth, man. You know, he's he set this all, you know, the Lord used him to set this Israelite thing up the proper way. And that's how the Lord gets down, you know, then you, you know, passed away. You know, the same kind of thing happened back then, you know, if I'm not mistaken, he had his head chopped off. And then he passed away over in this time, because we believe Abba Bivens is John the Baptist, right? That set this whole, set this thing up that we're in, we're in. the Israelites and the truth. Um... But that's how the Lord does things. He uses certain men to do certain stuff. All right. And that was kind of part of my other part of the, what I was wanting to build on, you know, is you can't make yourself a man of the Lord and you can't make yourself some top dude. You, you don't work like that. You are who you are, man. The spirit, you are already, you, you are already who you are. And that's what I'm going to, Probably try and focus this lesson on as 
that's probably part of the lesson too. You no, know, I was just watching them. Um, I was watching different videos, possible, and all possible, but goodbye, and etc. Uh, <clears throat> some of that was kind of mentioned in the last video about that. Um, you know, with the woman with the spirits, Apostle Gabal was talking about that. But the demons knows who who's who, and how you can't just you can't you you know you can't get up there and try and be someone that you're not. It just doesn't make no sense. That you're gonna for number one, you're gonna fail. You're gonna be made a laughing stock out of man. Cause you, you, the Lord is not the Spirit is not backing you. You can have no defense. It just doesn't make no sense, man. Imposter. You know the men of the everything's already been set. The Lord, the Lord created the spirits and the reincarnate on the earth, and the, and the the people are who they are. Nothing you can do. You know you can try and imitate someone. I'm gonna read the book of Paul and start imitating what he and trying. There's nothing you can do. To not be who you are, man. So the main thing is to pray that you're of the 144,000, to pray that you're of the elect. You know, you, you know, the scripture says what making you, make your calling and election sure. So that's obviously what we are, the main thing that we're all about doing is making our calling and election sure, man. You know, and at times, you know, you're in downers. You know, and in times you're an uppers, but you know, that's the because we're in this flesh. Um, and that's what happens, man. So but without with all of that going on, and I'm gonna get some scriptures on that, which is part of like part of the lesson. You know, the Lord told the prophets, man, to go out there and teach. He, he told them, that's just do it. You know, that's part of making your calling and election sure. You know, you there's prophets that didn't even want to, I don't want to, didn't even want to teach. Well, because of who they were, the most I made them teach, there's nothing else that they could, they were designed just to do that, man. Okay, so, like I said, you know, this what this truth ain't no, you know, this truth is this, you got to go through things in this truth, man. All right, and I'll get a scripture on that. Let's Luke 3 and 8. Um, Luke 3 and 4, as it is written in the book of Isaiah, the prophet saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough way shall be made smooth. All flesh shall see the salvation of our power. All right. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Because you you got wicked people that are around, that, you know, watch shows, you know, they might put stupid comments on there, you know, cursing out men of the Lord. You got some, you got some demons out there, I'm just going to call it as it is. And they're not even going out and teaching. And, you know, they'll try and find a fault in somebody that is doing the work. Oh, look what you did there. Oh, look what you said. Well, you ain't. It was one dude. You, you know, you know, he's on a Pascal Pascal Pas Bars video saying, oh, you, you ain't deep. And, you know, that was stupid, man. And, um, you know, Pascal Gabar did a video on that. And you know, all the apostles, man, apostles to all, you be on the comment board, you see people making these, you know, they're the scoffing. And the reason why these dudes are scoffing is because the Lord ain't dealing with them dudes, man. So, you know, the, you know, it's the it's some spirits that are around them. The only thing that can come, that they can think of is, is something to, to try and tear down the word or or to, to you know, to, you know, cause confusion, you know? You know, and they're always mentioning these names. There was another dude that, you know, because he was saying, oh, yeah, well, oh, watch watch this prophet, watch that, but you, you know, you, you know, I mean, I mean, come on, man. So this is Luke 3 and 8. It says, bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of repentance, right? And begin not to say within yourselves. So, that's another one. Bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of repentance, man. 
Okay? Because, um, you know, um, you know, not everybody's worthy. And you find that out on, you know, you find that out when you come in the truth, man. You got people that try and pick, pick up the scriptures and the, the merge the scriptures with other books, other philosophies. They try and change the doctrines. That, that person's not worthy. You know, that's clearly against the scriptures, man. The scripture tells you to continue in the things which thou hast learnt. I mean, you got this knowledge. You you continue in what you've you, what you know. You don't, don't bend it, don't twist it. That's 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 um messing up. That's that you, now basically you being a demon. You know, it's like a water flow. You put something in there, when you put something in the water that ain't supposed to be there. Now you've tainted the water's tainted. Everyone's got to drink that tainted water. water. That's what a lot of you like. There's a lot of people doing, man. But um, the men of the of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh, they're not gonna do that. Now the scripture says, you know, it talks about a slip of the tongue. Like you know, let's say you're doing a video and you might make it look you slip of the tongue, but you come back out and you say, look, man, that's off. I didn't, you know, the slip to the tongue, and you know, this is what it is. That's how you. That's how you're supposed to be. Because we are in the flesh. All right, and it says, and begin not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, and that's that's deep, man. The Lord doesn't even need us, so that's why it's important to pray that we're of the one four four. Now, the spiritual part about it is the elect that I teach in the Bible. You know, what, what Lord hope. Oh, you know, hopefully with the hope for the elect, the Lord has actually made special spirits to teach and to do the job of teaching, man. And, that, and their whole life is going to evolve around the, the truth. You know, everybody they meet, you know, you know, just different things that they do. You know, the job that they might have, you know, where they live, you know, it's all set up in the spirit. You know, the people they're around, you know, you might, you're in a place the Lord, you know, for example, the Lord could have put you in, um, you know, which you don't really get Jake's out there, but the Lord could have put you in, in the in the Switzerland and the Alps, but the Lord don't need you out there because who's gonna prophesy? How are you gonna prophesy out there? You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be swimming. You know, you're gonna be drinking clean water. You, you ain't gonna be you're gonna be teaching. So every situation. You know, some people, when they start going through some hard times, then they'll be like, damn, man, you know. That actually makes some people fall out of the truth when they, when they start catching the fire, the, the hell that, that you got to go through. Okay, but that's that's one sign of, of men, men of the Lord. Look look what Job had to go through, man. And I think there's other scriptures, always oh, slaying me, I was serving or something like that. He says, so he says that the most is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Okay, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of, of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. So when you're building, you got to build the right way. And, you know, we're known as great millstone. It means to grind, mill and all that. Like when you're in this word, you know, you got to make sure, you know, day to day that you do, that you, that you, um, that you, fit, you fear in the Lord, man. Let's see if I can get the Lord's Prayer. I think it's in Matthew 6. Uh, one second. I did say I was going to get it, so let me get it now. Matthew 6. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start from the top. The Spirit's making me um, go to... Oh, you don't read. Which you know the Bible says precept upon precept, line upon line, because there's 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 you know depending on the topic, man. Like let for example, if a prophet prophesied of destruction of America, then in, in, in like like in Isaiah, then another prophet prophesied of destruction in Revelations. You know you're gonna jump to the relevant part of what the hell he's talking about. You're not gonna read about. Um, King David playing a harp, are you? So, 
you damn right we're gonna jump to the relevant parts it's called it's called really it's called common sense which a lot of people out here you you, you don't even have that man you've bogged out man a lot of years are really just bogged the hell out you know and you don't really understand the bible you don't understand the spirit of the lord man you don't understand anything you just bogged out, man. You just, a lot of you just talk too much. A lot of you just want to say stuff for the sake of it. And, 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 you know, we're trying to get into the kingdom, man. We're trying to be saved. Matthew 6 and 1. It says, Take heed that ye do, that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto, unto you, they have their reward. Right? But when thou doest alms, let, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father seeth, seeth in secret himself, sh shall reward thee openly, yes? Yeah? Okay, and there's a lot of things that you do. You, you know, if you can help someone out, or you do, you, you know, you do it in sincerity. You know, you don't even. And it's gonna go even into the praying. Cause you got you got these people that pray in the open. Like you know, the Muslims, whoever, they'll have a thousands of people praying. For the, in the public, so people, you know, people, everyone can see it. You know, and um. The heavenly Father said, "He ain't." He says, "And when thou, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to be pray. They love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the streets. So a lot of your prayers is between you and the heavenly Father, man. And there might be certain things that you need, you know, more more faith, um, you know, you know, um, you know, more clarity." You know, whatever, wherever the case is, you know that's just how that's just what it is. So, you know, you, you in your mind, you know, you you pray to the Lord, and and that's what the Lord, that's what we're supposed to do. Pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because you know, like I said, He can. <laughs> we just read it. He can make these stones and turn them into sons of Abraham. The Lord can dispose of you. You know, which He's not going to dispose of the elect. So, and what would the elect do? They'll pray. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Because why? Because that's showing, we put in our trust in, in Yahweh Basham El Shai, so that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So everyone's going to get a reward, a, re a reward meaning you reap what you sow. Okay. So you got the elites, right? You got the top elites. I'm gonna do some more videos on them, but we all know what's gonna happen to them. They're going in captivity, and they've been, you know, doing all types of, you know, you know, deeds of darkness. But you know, these deeds of darkness that they've been doing, you know, they're actually gonna pay for all these deeds of darkness. So, you know, we prophesy against them. We prophesy against Babylon the Great, which is America. We prophesy against all the, the NATO, the beast system, because these kingdoms are doing uh, 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 kingdoms of, of de deeds of darkness, man. You know, there's a lot of dark witchcraft, you know, we'll just put that word in there, that's going on, that's been set up by these, these realms that we're in. All right, Matthew 6 and 6, but thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When thou shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. And that's what they do in the, in the Christian churches, man. To just keep going, God. For, you know, like for like three out whole hours and they're filming it. And, the, you know, the and a lot of them are, you know, begging God, bless our church. And a lot of them are talking about money and they just keep screaming God for hours. The, the Lord is not listening to that, man. 
you know, you, you know, you, if you, you, you're sincere, you throw up a prayer, you know, it's short and, 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 you, and you're sincere, the Lord can he, will hear that. Rather than you putting it on camera, the live stream in your, in your, in your church, in your gothic style church, okay, so, you know, the damn knows what other rituals were happening in those churches, you know, that you're hiring out. Um, and you're screaming all these, you know, this is what they're doing in the plantation organizations. And then also the same individuals teach that you, you can do whatever you want. You can eat pork, shrimp, lobsters. You don't even have to keep this, the laws. And, you know, so they're bogged out, man. It says, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask of him. And, and Yahweh Shai kept the laws, man. And he didn't, why would someone keep the laws so you don't have to keep the laws? No, we keep, kept the laws and the scripture says, these are shadow of things to come. Meaning in the kingdom, man, we're going to keep them laws like how he kept them. All right. He didn't keep them to not keep them. That would, that just doesn't make no sense. It, it doesn't make no sense. We're going to keep the Pasat so you don't have to keep it. We're going to do this. You know, you don't, so you don't, so you don't have to do it. No. You know, the, the whole reason why we've, we've, we've been uh, getting destroyed is because we haven't been able to keep those, keep those laws, man. <laughs> After this in the manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, who art, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, okay? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Because in the spirit realm, everything's in order. Earth is, you know, defiled. You know, what does the scripture say? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Um, so earth realm is defiled, man. Okay, it says, give us this day our daily bread. Right, so like I was going into, kind of building off the earlier points. Um, we pray for, we pray for, we pray. See, that's the spiritual mindset. We pray, we pray for, we don't know what's going to happen the next day. You, know, you got people that are dropping dead. You got people that are getting shot. You got people that are getting heart attacks. You got people, things are happening. People are getting ill. You got outbreaks happening, and 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 the Lord's gonna have to be the one that's gonna protect you from all these things, because the Lord, you know, is the Father of Spirits, man. He calls souls back to the spirit realm. Now, what does it the elect want? We want deliverance, man. We actually want, um, we actually want to be delivered. You know, um, beamed up into them ships, man. Now, if that means that, no, nah, listen, man. I'm just, uh, listen. This is the kind of mindset. The scripture says, "What strive for truth unto death." I thought, let me get that. It's in the apocrypha. If 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 strive. She had to tell her to. Uh, Ecclesiastic is 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Let me show this is still recording. All right, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So, um, basically, man, um, you've got to be prepared to die for this truth. To die to serve the Lord. Now you look at Yahweh Shai as an example. Yahweh Shai carried his own cross. You know, and 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 and, and, and was a sacrifice for, for the sins of the nation of Israel. Now when you go back into the spirit, Abraham was going to sacrifice. The, the Lord told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, because in the future he was actually going to be a sacrifice. 
Now the scripture says, "What well, carry your cross and follow after me. That's what we're spiritually doing. So we're going through stuff and our lives are going a certain way and certain things are happening because we're striving for spiritual things, man. You know, we're giving up in the flesh to gain in the spirit. And, you know, that's just part of how this truth goes. And that's why there's a lot of people, like the rich man, he didn't want to give up his goods. Lord, well, you, you, you can't enter in because he didn't want to part with his, he didn't want to part with his, 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 his he didn't have faith. He didn't want to part with his, 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 his luxuries. His, and there's going to come a time, right? Well, you're going to have to give it, even this body we're in, you're going to have to give that up. You know, to get in the chariots, you, you can't be in this flesh. You could you know, have a new body. So material possessions and all this bullshit, man, it don't mean shit. And, you know, the Lord, the more you grow in faith, man, the more you see that. But this world doesn't push that because this world pushes, yeah, you know, they got game shows, oh, you want to win a million pounds, you want to win 500,000 pounds and all this. So they push gain. Like the scripture says, professing that gain is godliness. You know, you got people that do that. And you got Israelite groups that are on that tip. And that's why a lot of people join a lot, a lot of these other schools because they think, yeah, man, well, we can have grand, well, this school, we can have the grand marriages and you know, things that they wanted to do in the world can do now the truth. Well, we can do this, we can do that. But, you know, we can still be in the truth. You know? Strive for the truth unto the, unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. And that's the mentality that you got to have. And it's even going to come to a point by where the elect are going to, um, some of the elect are going to be put to death for the ministry. For the truth, man. You know. Matthew 6 and 11. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. As we forgive our de debtors. So, you know, none of, we've all got, you know. We've all got sins. So, you got, you know, forgiving you know, a fellow Israelite, one of your brothers in the truth, you know, is 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 is, 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 a, is an art because, you know, you, while you're pointing the fingers at others, you know, the, the finger could be pointed at you. Well, you did that. Now, don't get it twisted. You got order in the truth, and you got, you got, you know, order in the in the camps and in the spirit to keep order, man. So you might be getting rebuked. You can't say, well, I'll ask and you do that. So, you know, you can't tell me what to do. There's, there's no order in that. And if you, and, and really, if you're doing that, you don't believe in the Lord's, um, sh the way the Lord set things up because there's certain, like Paul, you got Paul, he was telling people things. Well, when you check it out, Paul was actually, uh, you know, before that persecuting the church and stuff like that. But the Lord used Paul as a vessel that's why they, they feared Paul. People, prophets are actually scared. But the Lord used him as a vessel to put brothers up on a high level. To so look at that. So Paul is Paul, man. Right? And it says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Right? So it says, Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. We need to be delivered from evil, man. The Lord, as the scripture says, of the Lord controls the issues of death. So, you might walk down the road and then five minutes later, there might be a car crash. Now, you could have been walking in that place when that happened, but the Lord, you know, had the angels, you know, deliver you and you didn't even know that it happened, that, that you... The, the, the Lord set it up where he delivered you from some, some crazy shit. You know, you could have been walking, 
you know, and then, you know, some five minutes later in that same spot, there was some muggers went there waiting for anybody. And then, and, you know, they jacked the dude up, mugged him, you know, beat him up to, you know, and stuff like that. The Lord delivered you from that. Okay. But at the same time, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to have it where, to the point where the prophets don't like this realm so much. They're, they're going to be going for a certain amount of hell and they don't like this place that much that they want to get out of here, man. And there's a scripture that just comes to my mind. Um, they love not their lives. Now, like I said, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this. Um, but uh, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to find this one. I know I can find it. I just got to use put my, really you know put that brain power. <laughs> you know, into place. Uh, well, the scripture actually does say, um, love not the world and the things that are in. Let me get that one. And I'll see if we can get that other one after. Love... Cause that's a good one. All right. Now, a lot of them teach you. Oh, you're supposed to look. That the scripture actually says, "Love not the world." It doesn't say get involved in everything that's happening all around you, man. Nope. This place is getting ready to be destroyed, and the elect. Are spiritually being pulled out of this place until we're actually physically pulled out of this place. First John two fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the the hopeful elect, you know, they've got a different spirit on them, you know, and a different different goals, a different spirit on them to everybody else around him you know it's like the matrix man he was on you know he was on his mission but everybody else is just a part of the system keeping the system afloat you know if you another if another thing if you're into voting you're keeping you ain't supposed to vote for for the roman presidents man you know these politicians you're you know the one who we're rooting for the one who we worship who we you know we Pledge to is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He's the true king of the, of, 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 the, of the world. And, you know, that's who we don't want. You know, here it is. Oh, yeah, I want, um, you want um, this other prime minister to be in power for, for three years. Well, that, that's three years you're saying you don't want the Lord to come back. You'd rather just, just uh, some demon. In, sitting in seats, telling people what to do. Nah, man, we're not. We're not operating. We're not. We're not. We're not of that frequency, man. We're not moving in that spirit, man. That's why it says, "If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." So the Yahweh Shai is angry. Obviously, an angry power that is actually waiting to destroy this world. And the scriptures tell you that. <laughs> okay. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Okay? So everything in this life, and then we're finding out everything in this world leads to death, sin. You know, this this this, this kingdom's not designed off the laws of the, of, and, and of, of the most time, man. Even after food you eat, you know what I mean? Even after everything that you do, 
is designed for wickedness. Now, where, you know, the only people that are really going to understand that is the elect. The scriptures talks about what the eye self. Let's get that. I'll get it after. So the only people that can see that is the elect. Now, there's a whole bunch of different scriptures I could have got, but I'm going in the spirit, bro. So I didn't write a list, but you know, if you see the spirit, I didn't even have to write a list, man. You know, I was going to go into different prophets and, you know, different situations and times when these prophets, you know, kind of was like trying to say, I oh, didn't want to teach what the Lord made them teach. But um, the spirit never made me go into that. You know, um, but there is, a, it's like, I think it was Jeremiah, the Lord said, he said that, look, man, the word of the Lord was firing his bones, man. The only thing you could do is teach. There's nothing else. That's the how the Lord made us. You know, you know, it's, that's what the Lord made us. And everyone's got their, everyone's got their own, um, their own like spirit and style. You know, you got the different, you got the twelve tribes of Israel. So not everyone's gonna teach the same. We're gonna teach the same thing. We're not gonna, you know, teach the same. We're gonna bring out the same word. Like when you read math, when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, they're, they're, they're telling you the same thing. They're just explaining it in a different way, because everyone's got their own spirit. You know, it says, "For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof." So, what you love the world, and you did everything that the world says does. You know, I want to be on the TV and you know, you're eating pork and you're eating lobsters, you're doing orgies, doing all types of wicked things, and you get known for that. That's your legacy. Then the world gets destroyed by the Most High, the the rulership. You know what? That's your legacy. That's who you are, man. You're known as just someone that got that vaporized. You know, and and you know. Like I said, we we're not on that. Like I said, the inspiration there was a couple of inspirations for this video, and one of them was the fact that you know, you know, I I, I hope that I'm of the elect, man. And you know, the elect are gonna hope that they're of the elect, and they are of the elect. Whoever the elect are, you know, and they're gonna do right the, what the, the works of the Most High. Now they're gonna go. Now, like I said, they're gonna go for things, and I'll probably do another lesson on that about you know, the catch and hell part, because read the prophets' lives, look at what things that they went through. Those prophets put in pits, put in jails, prophets put to death, stoned. All sorts of situations happen, man. Okay? But then you got them smooth church pastors in the, in the, in the buildings, in the warmth. Got black women dancing in there, giving them their, their last pen and giving them all their, their box, you know, and they're sleeping with them black bitches with the wigs on. And and they, they, they ain't the work, they, they ain't the work of the, the most, they ain't the work of the most time, man. Okay, what the hell are you guys saying? You come across these videos or uh, you you got you got a problem with us, man. And another thing, a lot of people are leaving the churches because they're waking up to the fact that they're Israelites. <laughs> Okay. It says, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. <clears throat> right? So if you do the will of your heart, Basham you will abide forever, man. It says little children and, and that's what we and the elect are actually we're gonna become immortal. Now what I do wanna do is I wanted to get a scripture on I've been talking about the elect a lot. Now but I wanted to get a scripture on the elect right quick. And I'll probably read it again. It says, And I looked and lo, a lamb. Who's a lamb? The lamb is Yahweh Shai, man. The lamb represents sacrifice. And that's why I said, and that's one of the reasons why I said to gain in the spirit. You got to sacrifice the flesh, strive for truth unto death. Some, some brothers are actually going to give up their lives to be of the elect. They're going to present, Esau's going to present them. Well, look, do you, are you going to take my thing? 
that I can monitor you with the electric digital or uh, you know what we're talking about and they're going to say no I'm not, I don't want to be a part of you and, you and your grid or, you know and then they're going to be um, put put down but that you know that's going to the elect members that do that they're going to you know you're going to be martyrs you know you're going to be you know righteous in the sight that they did something like that for the Lord man because a lot of people don't want to die they want to live and, and, and party so people are going to be offered with that because the scripture says it's going to be married and given in marriage. So that's why they got microchip. Oh, see, I didn't really want to say the word, but that's why they got them MOTB parties. So it's pushing, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, you know, but you know what to hell with that? To hell with that, man. You know, my, 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 um, you know, my old mentality, right, is all I want to do is be of the elect. I don't care about Okay, but not else, man, on the planet Earth. You know, like the scripture says, fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So I think about precepts like that. You know, all the extra stuff, I don't really care about it, man. You know, brothers might link up, do a barbecue. You know, you can link up, you know, you can do certain stuff. I mean, I, I just, most of the time, I'm just kind of meditating on this truth, man, or, you know, or just, you know, you get up, you eat, you know, you watch some movies, you watch certain pretends, you just chill, you know, you, you go work and all that, you, you know, you, you pay your bills, pay your tithes, whatever, you, you know, whatever, you, you know, whatever you got to do in this, in this matrix, it's, but... You know, for the most part, me, man, I'm just, I'm just like kind of meditating on the spirit of the Lord and, and, and the spirit, man. And sometimes, you know, you kind of, there's things you look at and think, damn, I should have did that different. I should have did this different. You know, but, you know, hopefully um, the Lord has, has mercy on us, man. With him and 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads, the access codes, Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai. And those names, man, you know, how can you disrespect their, their most sacred names? These names are the most sacred names you can, you can ever get. You got people trying to desecrate, you know, the, the, the names, man. You're, you're a fool. You're a peon in the flesh. You're a worm. And, and, and you just, you respect. This is a little joke, you respect, you're a bug. This is just one, one, you know, this little joke. This one rapper, he goes, he goes, pussy nigga, you re pussy nigga, you respect, you're a bug. <laughs> you know, but a lot of you, you, like you guys are. I mean, we're all, we're all worms, man. To the most, come on, compared to the most high, but some of you dudes, man, you really, you're a little, little speck bug trying to, you know, trying to exalt yourself over them, like, desecrate the Lord's name? Are you fucking, are you crazy, nigga? <laughs> All right. First John 2 and 18, little children, it is the last time, as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know it is the last time. So another doctrine that is rubbish is that You've got this being sitting there that's going to come on the earth called the Antichrist, man. That's bullshit, man. First of all, you've already got the spiritual demon Satan that works for the Most High and he ain't the Antichrist. You know, so what the hell is an Antichrist? It's anybody that comes against the Most against the, the Most High. That's why it says, even now there are many Antichrists. Anyone that comes against Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, you are an Antichrist because you are against Yahweh Shai. It's like you got um anti for anti fascism. They call themselves and is it gonna be is there you know one the head he's the he's the like come on man did some of you people don't think you got you got the anti for anti fascist whatever set up groups and that's so a lot of people everybody that comes to this truth and you notice right when we teach this truth people start forming out the mouth. The truth is so sacred and so spiritual and so to the point. 
and people are so wicked is that it cuts them. So they get angry, you know. And that's another reason why we go through hell and why you could be in the truth and someone could try and kill you because your spirit is you 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 vibrate enough that righteous energy field while they're vibrating off some kind of negative energy field. Okay, first John two and nineteen. They went out from us, but they were not of us. But if they had been of us, they would would not doubt no doubt of they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. So you got people that fall out the truth, man. Because why did they fall out the truth? Because they ain't got faith. They're not of the elect. They wasn't designed to serve the Lord. They were, you know what I mean? People come in and come fall out. Then you get you got mighty people like King Saul. You, you know what? The, the Lord just took the spirit from him. So you got that level as well. You got people, you know, with King Saul, man, the Lord just took the spirit from that dude. And he, he obviously ain't of the elect. So you want to be of the house of David, man. You know, you got Israelite groups. And not just because just you're an Israelite group. Oh, I'm Israelite. You, a lot of these are serving the loss of the flesh in your belly. <laughs> That's why we... we um. Excuse me. What do you hear us talk about? We talk about the house of David. You know, we talk about the house of David, we talk about the elect, because that is what we're, we're striving for, bro. So, you know, pretty much, you know, these are some of the thoughts that I was meditating on, man. It says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. So no lie is of the truth, man. Right? No lie is of the truth. So that's like, and we bring that scripture out. Someone will come up and say, oh, well, how, you know, does it matter what color Christ was? Well, yes, because no lie is of the truth. If the man was is, is a so-called black man, which he is, with woolly hair, like a sheep, if that's what the man is, then that's what he is. If you're teaching that he ain't that, then that's a lie. It's just that simple. Okay, well, I just, we believe it. No, you don't. You don't know his name. You don't even know who he is. You don't know what he looked like. You, you, you're talking about a different person. It says, who is a liar, but he that denieth Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. He is, he is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. So it's telling you that anybody that denies the Father and the Son, you are, and you, you got the spirit of Satan on you, man. So going back to what I was saying, I'm going to read down into this because it goes into eternal life. But as I was saying that we, you know, our, our thing is that we, we make it, man. Now the Bible says you were with me from the beginning. So there's elect spirits. And we hope that we are them spirits. And I think I'm going to call this lesson something like that. You know, because I wasn't sure what to call it because I've gone through, you know, a couple of different things. But my main point, to be fair, is is about going through hell. But I can do a separate lesson on that, going more in depth in that. in that. But my main point and focus is about hoping, like, the, you know, we are of the, of the elect and praying, give us our, our daily bread, you know, forgive us of our trespasses. Because whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son have also the Father. He says, Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, also ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he have promised us, even eternal life. Okay, so we're promised what? Eternal life, man. So, um, 
Eternal life, that's what we do. So to, to get eternal life, you got to get rid of uh, this body. And like I said, this body, we're going to go through things, you know, physical ailments, mental battles. You know, you might get even fucking, you know, you might get, you know, jumped. You know, anything can happen in this flesh. But we don't care about that. We don't care about this flesh. We want the new bodies. We want to be... You know, we want that eternal life, man. It says, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teacheth you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things. And is truth and is no lie. Even as he have taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now little children abide in him. That when he shall appear we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. And that is like the main point of, of this lesson. So it's beautiful to end on that. And it says, And now little children abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and be not ashamed before him at his coming. So we want to be found doing the work and repenting of our sins when on your on your Yahushua's return. Okay. You know, you, you got dudes that fell out, you know, and the Lord's gonna return, they're gonna be ashamed, man. They're gonna be like shit. Now we're all gonna be like, you know, of our ashamed and all that, because we're not because we but the Lord's gonna have mercy on the elect, and that's what we want, that mercy. We want the the, the mercy, man. That's what we were looking for, man. You know, the presence of the Lord comes down in them ships. You know, and, and you know, us in this wretched flesh, man. Man, fuck that shit, bro. I, you know, we want to be, we want to be in the right spirit when the Lord comes, man. You got dudes going to be out there on holidays and, you know, they ain't taught, right? They've jumped out of a camp and they're partying and they're like beefer in Spain and all this shit. Then the Lord's returning it. And, you know, they're going to fucking feel stupid, man. And like I said, um, that's not where we want to be. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edified. Let me read the last verse. If ye know what, that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Right, so the elect are going to do the right thing, ultimately. Even if they, you know, slip up here and there, they might, you know, you know we're in the flesh, but they're, they're going to be doing the righteous things making their calling and election sure all right so um like i said I'm, and i'm gonna start doing videos like this i haven't done a video like this in a while because i thought you know i might have to put a list together and i might do i like doing these ones live so what i'm gonna do through the spirit of the power of your heart and your heart shy i'm gonna start doing these types of lessons and just going live on uh, live on these again and I'm um, trying you know vice versa man because um you know I didn't have to write a list down so you know you know that's kind of cool because the word should you know it's supposed to be in you so you know if I if you, you pick up the bible and you don't know what to say then obviously the spirit ain't working with you man so you know, um, you know, so that, so, you know, for what you have about Shami, I was shy, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, like I said, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. And, um, you know, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying, man. And I'm going to say, Shalom.